Hello my dudes, and welcome to another episode of Scratch the Itch, a series where I play indie games from itch.io and try to find ones that scratch that gaming itch we sometimes get. Today we're taking a look at Power Level, it is a short roguelike dungeon crawler-esque game where you have 5 minutes to explore a dungeon, level up, and get power ups before fighting the boss. Loot gold to purchase perks to increase time in the dungeon, experience gained, health potions, and a map of the dungeon. Then, once you're ready, or when time runs out, fight the boss and either die or beat it. You know, one of the two. Power level is short, simple, and sweet. You can hop in and beat the game in about 10 to 15 minutes. And man, sometimes a quick game is what you really need, you know? Sometimes you don't need tons of backstory and dialogue, you just want a quick game where you kill some mobs, beat a boss, and that's it. Well, that's this game. I mean, that's that's all it is, and I think it does that really well. I wish there was more, and that's a good thing, to me at least. When I finished the game, I really wish there was another floor or more perks to get and, you know, things like that. When I beat the boss on my second run through and it said thanks for playing, I was kind of sad. You know, I loaded in, beat it again, got the rest of the perks, and that was that. But I really wanted more. I really wanted to be transported to another floor with a new aesthetic and kill new monsters and fight a new boss. You know, I was hoping for a little more, but I should have known that going into this game where there's five minutes in a dungeon, it probably wasn't going to be long. I like the idea of the perk system because it creates progression outside of just beating the floor and the boss. Unfortunately, I feel like the current perk system is kind of pointless. There is only one perk that really, really, truly matters, and that is the health potion. The health potion is really strong. You can get down to half a heart, drink the potion, and be at full health again. XP rate, time limit, and map are all great and handy, but I think the health potion outshadows all of those because it just means you can just kind of sort of face tank the boss to some degree, and it really simplifies the fight a little too much, in my opinion. And while we're talking about the boss, I like the boss. I like the boss mechanics. It was a fun and enjoyable fight. However, I think the boss is a bit weak. On my first time fighting him, without knowing his abilities or having seen the fight beforehand, I managed to get him to about 25%. Honestly, if I had played it better, I could have beat the fight. And once I had you know, died and gotten a perk or two, specifically the health potion, I was just able to kill him way quicker. I mean, I was level 7 when I fought him and I got him to 25%. My second go around, I was, I think, level 9. And I had a health potion. So I had two levels and I had a health potion. And I was able to take him down way easier than before. And I guess that's how it's supposed to go in terms of progression, but it felt too easy. It felt like it was just handed to me, and I kind of wanted a little more of a challenge, you know? I didn't really like the skills. I mean, I liked Sprint, but that's just because it's running around the dungeon faster. Slam, on the other hand, I don't think I ever really used it. When I first got it, I used it on some boxes, and that was pretty much it. I mean, I might have used it here and there, just, just try to use it again, but it felt way easier to just attack normally than to use Slam. And it had such a long cooldown, it didn't feel good to use either. So, like, I would use it and then I'd have to wait. And I, it's just way easier to use the normal attack, in my opinion. Honestly, this was the only thing I really had an issue with. Just skills that felt bad and went unused. Aside from strength. But that's because I like to go fast as fuck, boy. So, does power level scratch the itch? Definitely. And for me personally, it kind of created an itch. I want more. I know it's a quick game, but my monkey brain just is like, me want more of the same quick game, and I, I don't know. I digress. If you're looking for a short, simple, and sweet dungeon crawler roguelike, then I can't recommend Power Level enough. Definitely recommend checking this game out if you've got 15 to 20 minutes to spare. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Especially if you want to see me talk about more indie games that may or may not scratch the itch. Who knows? But if you want to know if they do scratch the itch, you're only going to find out here. So hit that subscribe button, maybe. Please, I'm begging you. At this point, I am genuinely begging you.